There's only one major problem with this machine, because I think you might want to change your trousers. <laughs> Listen to that Honda engine purr. Tested by Machinery Nation. In some previous videos, I have checked out some remote control flail mowers, and today we have another option. Oh yes, we do, because Robot Wars eat your heart out. This is a tracked rotary mower, and it is designed for cutting brush. But the best thing about this is the others had a flail mower on the front, so you were restricted. The mower on this one is in the middle. It is out the way. You are unrestricted. You can go where you want, and this cuts so quickly. Let's check it out. Howdy, partner. This is the Stella URS 100. We produced a short on it last year, which has had millions of views. But this is the first time that I've got my hands on it, so I'm well excited to give it a go. For your chance to get hold of a Machinery Nation and Oregon Collaboration t-shirt, please drop a comment below for your chance to win. We will let you know in our community tab who the winner is in a couple of weeks' time. It has a whopping 27 horsepower iGXV 800 Honda engine, which purrs like a horny tomcat which is 779 cc pushing out 55 newton meters of torque a 20 litre fuel tank to allow you to last longer during each session it has an orange flashing beacon at the top to let you know it's running but also there's an orange light on the back and if this one flashes it means you've only got four litres of fuel left to allow you plenty of time to get back and refuel it has a five inch donaldson air filter system the front flap rises up so you can get up over higher material so it can get to the blade reinforced front grille to protect the engine hydraulic auxiliary ports to be able to put on other implements fan assisted cooling system it comes with a built-in tool to be able to make adjustments on your belt and on your tracks. And even though it's remote controlled, the electrics have been kept as simple as possible. Right, I think the sun's coming out. Let's go and try it. So we've got this large area of bracken behind me and down over the cover, we have got a large area of gorse that we're going to clear. Oh yes, gorse being one of the toughest weeds of them all. Let's get it started up and give it a go. On with the isolator, on with the key, engage the controller, connect it together. It's now connected. Press the start button. <laughs> Listen to that Honda engine purr. Oh, she sounds amazing. You've got forward and reverse, left and right, speed control, drift control, engine RPM, emergency stop, deck engagement, deck higher and lower, and auxiliary hydraulic control. Right, let's rev her up and engage the blade. Woohoo! Oh my God, that is amazing. That is all the small stuff. Let's try some bigger stuff now. <laughs> so using it then, I was on full speed, flat out. I'm gonna turn the speed down a little bit to give it a chance to do its job in the taller, thicker stuff. And yeah, see how we get on. Let's do it. <laughs> I could use this machine forever. Woo! That was amazing. Loving this. Right, so I'm going to lower the deck down, see if it does a cleaner job. There it goes. Oh, nice. I think I'll be fine. Perfect. Give it a go. <laughs> 
Wow. I cannot believe how quick it is. I don't know if you could hear me then, but that is super quick. I cannot believe the speed that that can cut at. It is phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Yes, a flail will probably leave a cleaner job, but because you haven't got that restriction of something on the front, this can just sail through it. It's just rotoring around. It will die down in the longer bits, but you just stop, carry on again. And then I just went back over some of the bits that it had missed or just hadn't quite chopped up. And it's done an amazing job. That is super quick. And that Honda engine, oh my God, it sounds good. Right, so that's good. You know, to be fair, you could do this sort of work with a lot of machines, but let's try on slopes because this can go up to 55 degrees. So we found a slope. It's about 30 degrees, so not on its maximum yet, but we've got some gorse. So we're gonna see if it can cut gorse. Can it cut gorse? Let's find out. Now we're talking, this is more like 50 degrees. Let's give it a go. wondering what's underneath the deck cutting everything that we're cutting well on there today we have this amazing cross blade system look at it it's an absolute weapon it is made of 10 mil steel plate and it's got swing tip blades on each end and they're bearing as well so there's no restriction on them it just keeps swinging around which is great for bracken absolutely amazing but if you want to cut something a bit tougher and in my opinion i think this is going to be perfect so you can cut things like trees with this you can get up to like 10 centimeter trees in other words if that stellar your s100 can push it over this will cut it it is truly amazing here's a clip of it pushing a tree over Absolutely incredible. There's only one major problem with this machine, and that's the fact that I've got to give it back. I want to keep this forever. It is just amazing. It goes everywhere. It cuts everything. Bracken, gorse, on steep ground, just anything I've thrown at it, it goes through it. Yeah, on the thicker stuff, you've got to slow down a little bit. You can't go flat out everywhere, but who wants to do that anyway? But now we've got some stinging nettles, overgrown, brambles, all sorts. There might be some other stuff in there that I'm not expecting, but I hope not. I hope there's not like an old bed or something in there, but we're going to find out. So, right, let's start it up again and get going. Whoa! <laughs> wow, I missed a bit, James. Oh, I got it now, I'm happy.
I don't think it likes rocks. I might have stalled it on the stove, which to be quite honest, you'd expect that really. Right, let's try some softer stuff. <laughs> In the previous short that we produced, someone mentioned that, oh, cool, I wish there was a seat on the top. I bet you don't after seeing that, because I think you might want to change your trousers if you rode on the top of this while this goes and does what it does. It is amazing. What I'm most surprised about is how nimble it is. You can be one minute facing that way, next minute that way. Whereas with the flail ones that I tried from other brands, I just felt like it was always a bit of a task to turn. But I didn't actually realize that until I drove this because this is just so nimble. It turns on a sixpence. You haven't got to have it flat out all the time and it still does an amazing job. The Honda engine, I've said it probably about five times in this video, sounds truly phenomenal. Go and check out the short. We'll put the link at the end of the video anyway because you can even hear it better in there because it's in a valley. You can hear it echoing up through. It just sounds amazing. I love this machine. The controls are simple. It does exactly what it's meant to do. And with that flap on the front, being able to pop up like so and be able to cope with the bigger material when cut into it. It is just, just wow. Wow. I don't know what else I can say. I'm pretty speechless really because it is just bloody brilliant. But we're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday. And don't forget, drop a comment below for your chance to win a Machinery Nation and Oregon collaboration t-shirt. Please like, share and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!